ways to do it. Math is not just done from right to left. Math can be done from left to right or from top to bottom. There are various ways to do math. And math is African. It was founded in Africa. Uh, it comes from the word, uh, you say mathematics come from the word meta, which means God. And ma, ma'at, the justice of God. Ma'at, mathematics. Mathematics. And then we have the other African word, rhythm which is called arithmetic. You have a rhythm, a rhythmic, arithmetic, coming from the word meta, metic, and rhythm, arith, the law or order or rhythmicity of God. Now here's one of the uh, earlier black mathematicians in the world, commonly called Imhotep or Escalapius. He was a physician, prime minister, grand visa, which was sort of like a mayor, poet, magician, architect, and builder of the Step Pyramid of Saqqara for Farid Yehosun on the Third Dynasty, that's 2780 B.C., or before the Common Era, one of the first mathematicians, African. Suppose I were to, were to ask you how to square 25, or what is 25 times 25, and you would probably scratch your head and try to do the way you were taught. But no, we got another way to do it. Let's look at it another way. We want to square 25. We square the numbers that end in 25. The last two digits will always be 25 squaring a number that ends in 25. You can say 25 times 25, or 25 times 25, or 25 squared. How do we do that? 25 times 25, you add 1 to the top number. So we have 25 times 25, add 1 to the 2, which makes it 3. So now we have 25 times 35. You go 2 times 3 is 6, and 5 times 5 is 25. The square, or 25 times 25, is 625. How did we do that? We added 1 to the top number, which made it into a 3. Then we went 5 times 5 is 25, 2 times 3 is 6, 25 times 25 is 625. that. So we have steps in doing this. First we have 25 times 25, which you can call 25 square. We change the 2 to a 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 5 is 25. 20, 625 is the square of 25 times 25. Now the way of doing it is this way. 25 square Change the 2 to a 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 5 is 25. 6, 25 is the answer. Now let's do some more. Let's do 35 times 35. 5 times 5 is 25. 3 times 4 is 12. Remember we changed this 3 to a 4 by adding 1 to it. 45 times 45, or 45 squared, remember we change this 4 to a 5. 5 times 5 is 25, 4 times 5 is 20, 45 times 45 is 2,025. Let's do 55 times 55. 5 times 5 is 25, we change, add a 1 to this 5, which makes it 6. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 and 25, 3,025 is the square of 55. 65 square, or 65 times 65, 5 times 5 is 25. We added 1 to the 6, which made it 7. 6 times 7 is 42. The square 65 times 65 is 4,225. That's the quick way of doing numbers that end in 5. Now, let's go and square some other numbers.
now we're going to square numbers that don't end in 25. Say, well, if I would ask you what is 94 times 94? These are numbers less than 100. How do we do that? The first step, we find out what do you have to add to 94 to make it 100. We have to add 6 to 94 to make it 100. Second step, we have the 6 now. The second step, we have the 94. Now we subtract the 6 from 94 and we get 88. The third step is to square that 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Now we have the 88 and the 36. So, 94 squared, or 94 times 94, is 8,836. Let's do it again. What is the square of 94, or 94 times 4, 94? We find out what you have to add to 94 to make it 100, which is 6. Then we take the 6 and subtract it from 94, and we get 88. Then we square the 6, and we get 36. We add that to the end, so we have 88 and 36. 94 times 94 is 8,836. That's how we did it. Now let's do 89. 89 squared. What is 89 times 89? What is the difference between 89 and 100? It's 11. We bring down 89, subtract 11 from 89, we get 78. What is the square of 11? It's 120. How we did that is 10 times 11 is 110. 1 times 11 is 121. I'll show you that some more later. So we found out the difference between 89 and 100. We said that was 11. So we subtract the 11 from 89 and got 78. Then we squared the 11 and got 121. So we add the 121 to the 78, we get 7,921. What is the square of 89? 7,921. That's for numbers less than 100. Now we're going to go to numbers over 100. First step. What is the square of 108? The first thing we do is square the 8, which is 64. Since we're doing numbers over 100, we add the 8 to the, add the 8 to the 8, and we get 16. The square of 8 is 64. So now we have 16 plus 64, we got 1,664, because we brought that 64 down. Now, the step 3 is, what is the square of 108? We have the 1, and we bring down the 1. And that gives us 11,664. I'm going to do it again. What is the square of 108? First, we square the 8, we get 64. Then we add the 8 to 108 and we get 16. We have 16 and we bring the 64 right there. Now, to get the last digit, we bring down the 1. So now we got 1, 1, 6, 6, 4. That's the square of 108. These are numbers over 100, mind you. What is the square of 110? What is 110 times 110? That's the question. We take the 10, we square the 10 and get 100. Right? That's our first step. The second step is we add the 10 to the 110. We get 20. We bring down the 100. We add it to the 20. We get 2,100. Our third step is we bring down the 1. The square of 110 is 12,100. That's how you square numbers over 100. Square numbers under 100, square numbers over 100. Take your time and look at it so you can get it, because next you have to do the problems. Remember what we did up here for numbers less than 100.
We found out the difference. What did you have to add to 94 to make 6? Because we're trying to square 94. What you have to add to 94 to make, to make 100 is 6. Then we subtract the 6 from 94, which gave us 88. Then we took the same 6 here and squared it. 6 squared is 36. So we have 88. We bring down the 36. That is the square of 94. That's for numbers under 100. Numbers over 100, we had 108. What's the square of 108? What is 108 times 108? 8 squared is 64. We, that's the first step. We squared that 8. We got 64. The second step is we added the 8 to 108. We got 16. We brought down the 64. Third step, we brought down this first digit right here. So now we have 11,664 is the square of 108. Just thought that we'd go over both of them, and now I'm going to let you see some of the problems you can work using this method. These are the problems. Look at them, and you can copy them down and work them. Using the same system. Remember, you subtract when the number's less than 100, and you add when for numbers over 100. That's what's important to remember in these two steps. Those are some problems you can work on your own using this quick and easy method. Now we're going to get into complementary multiplication. Complementary multiplication. We're multiplying now, but we're not going to use the old method now. We're going to still use a different way to do things. This is for 99, numbers that are 99 or less. Step one, you find out how far is the 97 from 103. Because this is our problem here. We multiply 95 times 97. This is the problem, 95 times 97. The easy way. The top number is 97. You find out how far 97 is from 100. You say that's 3. Then you find out how far 95 is from 100. That's 5. Second step. Here's the 3. Here's the 5. Because 97, you add 3 to it, you get 100. Because we want to find out how far 97 is from 100. 95, we add a 5 to it, you get 100. That's how far 95 is from 100. So we had the 3 and the 5. 5 times 3 is 15. That gives us our first number. Remember? Now we're going to the third step, in which case you subtract. And look the way these arrows are going. This arrow is going to the 5, this arrow is going to the 7. So we cross subtracting. 3 from 5, 5 from 7, that's cross subtracting. 3 from 5, 3 from 95 is 92. As we're cross subtracting. Now we're doing 5 from 97. 5 from 97 gives you 92. See? We have 92 and 92, so that gives us the 92. Step 4. Bring down the 92. We have 92 and 15. The answer is 9,215. Let's go over it again. Complementary multiplication is what we're doing for numbers that are 99 or less. 95 times 97, you say, what is the answer to that problem? First, you find out how far 97 is from 100. That's 3. <clears throat> then you find out how far 95 is from 100. That's 5. That's the first step. Second step in finding out the answer to 95 times 97 is we found out how far they're from 100. 3 and 5. So we multiply the 5 times the 3 and we get 15. That's in the second step. In the third step, we subtract. We cross subtract. We're going to subtract the, nine, the 3 from the 95, 3 from 95, and we get 2. 
Then we subtract 5 from the 97 and we get 2. That gives us 97, 92, mind you, excuse me. Step 4, we bring down the 92. 92, 5 times 3 is 15. The answer is 9,215. 95 times 97 is 9,215. That's how you do complementary multiplication for numbers of 99 or less. Now we're getting to numbers that are 100 or more. Okay. For 106 times 102, what is the, an the answer to that? 106 times 102. We multiply the 6 times the 2 and we get 12. That's the first step. In the second step, we add the 6 and 2. We add the 6 and 2 and we get 8. We bring down the 12. 6 and 2 makes 8. In the third step, we bring down the 100. So we have 